Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have some major news. If you remember, a few days ago, I had uploaded a video with the schedule from Teletoon, which is a Canadian airing uh, broadcaster. So yeah, it actually had some descriptions of some new Ninjago episodes that are speculated to be mini episodes. I firmly do believe that. And we actually got a leaked trailer of it. Actually, Teletoon itself had posted it, but it had been taken down. And now you can find it other places on YouTube now. I have a link in the description below. But I want to share my thoughts as well as provide some of my own predictions of what the series might actually be. First of all, of course, the biggest noticeable thing is that this animation style is entirely different, actually. It really resembles Nexo Knight, and someone actually pointed that out on Twitter. And it's not as detailed and as 3D looking as, let's say, Ninjago or Chima was. So yeah, that is the biggest difference, first of all. And of course, this actually does go hand in hand with the descriptions that we got a few days ago, because the ninja are totally goofy and being really lazy in this, which might not be a good thing and definitely has a lot of people, including me, concerned as to what this might actually be. Pretty much it has the ninja who, in the, in the last season's victory, they are pretty much just chilling and they become really lazy and yeah, they decide to go in the hot tub. Cole has some drinking hat like the one from Spongebob where he, he was wearing the hat of the guy who was number one. Forgot his name, but yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, Jay gets scared of a chicken. They're wearing season 11 suits, which looks pretty cool. But yeah, I don't even know what to make of this. It's just really, really weird for the most part, and it's not really funny. A lot of people claim it to be and are calling it Moose Tea 2.0. And I agree with this. I never personally watched Woo's Tea, but I've seen bits and pieces of it. And it's just a really bad attempt at humor. And I think this is definitely going to be an attempt at humor of some sort. And it's definitely trying to be funny. But whether that actually works remains to be seen for sure. So yeah, that definitely does have a lot of people, including myself, concerned. I do not think that this is season 11. And I just want to announce, please stop spreading the rumor that this is confirmed to be season 11. A lot of people are spreading a rumor that is pretty much, oh, this is going to be season 11. This is season 11 trailer. No, we do not know that. We do not know what it is. And, you know, we, we who knows? It could be season 11. It may not. But just do me a favor, please, and do not spread the rumor that this is 100% season 11. I do not think, again, that it is season 11, given that the animation style is different. So I think it's probably going to be produced by a company other than Wilfilm. And I've heard other people say this as well. So that is the first thing. Also, I should remind you guys that these episodes are only 15 minutes in length. If you guys remember the leaked, the schedule images, these episodes are actually for 15 minutes with one of them airing at the start of the hour and the other one airing 15 minutes later. So yeah, that's, these are 15 minutes long and that is all. So it's highly unlikely that they would change the episode length after 10 seasons of keeping it the same. So yeah, I do not think this is season 11 at all. I do not think that the Ninjago producers would actually do something this controversial, not only changing the animation style, but pretty much everything about it, making it a pretty, you know, just a attempt at comedy rather than an actual meaningful show. I do not think that they would actually do this at all. This just doesn't make sense at all. So yeah. And then the other important thing is the entire trailer is pretty much an attempt at comedy. We get to see some new suits as well. The ninja look pretty cool in their season 11 suits and Wu looks interesting in his season 11 suit. It looks a little bit weird animated, I'm not gonna lie, but it looks pretty cool for the most part as well. And we pretty much see them at the monastery as well. And the animation isn't my biggest problem. I don't think it's too bad. Of course, it is a pretty big step down from the recent Ninjago animation, which has been spectacular in the last three seasons. It is a step down. And I am surprised that even if this is a mini sewed series that they are actually gonna have the animation be different. Given that it had pretty awesome animation in the Tales from the Monastery Spijitsu shorts as well. So yeah, that is definitely surprising. But the trailer kind of ends off on a serious note with Zane opening the door of the monastery and someone kind of attacking him or that's what it seems to be. And this is what has some people thinking that this could actually be season 11. Because when Zane opens the door, we kind of see a burst of golden or fire energy. And then we get to see a scene of the monastery with some blue light coming up from it. So that could be a fire and ice, it certainly could, but it doesn't necessarily have to be at all. And I don't really know what to make of this since there's not really much coming out. It could, for all we know, just be Jay playing a prank on Zane or something like that. So we do not know. But yeah, the entire trailer is pretty much just showing comedic parts, except for that last part. And then there is also a part when the Teletoon logo showed 
of the ninja actually running across the streets of Ninjago City. So yeah, I think some people have missed that. But yeah, that is pretty much all I do have for this. Again, I do not think that this is season 11. I think this is definitely going to be a mini soap series. Because again, back to the six hours of content that were announced at the San Diego Comic Con. Uh, six hours is more than just a 10 episode season, assuming that all the episodes are 22 minutes. And of course, the four episode season that we've already gotten. So 14 episodes, six hours is more than 14 22 minute episodes. So that allows for another mini series of the sort. So I do think that this is definitely going to be a mini series like Wu's T or Decoded. And probably not like the Tales from the Monastery Spinjitsu, given that those were only two minutes. These ones seem to be a bit longer and might actually have more of an overarching story. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone, everyone you know. Let me know what you guys thought of this trailer, as well as any concerns or predictions or anything, and what you guys thought. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.